my name is Halif Ismail. I'm 20 years old, and this here you see is my passion. Since he was 11 years old, Halif has had one goal: to build a model railway network that bears an almost perfect resemblance to the Sri Lankan railway map. For nine years, he has been collecting, buying, and painting different components in an effort to achieve this goal. My passion extends to everything, not only trains, but uh, aircraft, uh, photography, model cars, uh, and so many things. So, but mostly I've uh, taken my time in, uh, you know, modeling up this. So this uh, is actually an 8x4 layout of uh, Sri Lankan railway uh, scenario. Obviously, scenery. Most of the things you see here were built by myself, and some were imp uh, imported, and you know they were created locally as well. Model railway building is considered one of the most expensive hobbies in the world. It involves building rail transport systems that are modeled at a miniature scale with working locomotives, signal towers and handcrafted landscapes, including roads, bridges, buildings, and streetlights. So what you're seeing here is a model of the Class M6 of the Sri Lanka Railways, which is one of my favorite locomotives. This was uh, scaled down to 1 is to 87, uh, which is actually called HO scale in terms of model railway. And this uh, locomotive was designed uh, by a Sri, a Sri Lankan individual uh, and you know I had to spend quite a bit on this and finally getting getting it into a running condition was a lifelong dream since I started uh, model, modeling uh, trains and yeah voila that's what uh, we have here <laughs> class M6 and in one of my favorite color schemes, the intercity color. Apart from its original color being uh, green and red, and you know, it was imported back in 1979 from uh, Germany. And up to date, it's still running in the railway and has proven to be one of the most successful uh, locomotives that is there at the moment. And this here is the class M5. It's modeled in the same scale as in the as the M6. And it was also built uh, locally uh, by uh, an individual in Sri Lanka. And it was actually one of the very first Sri Lankan locomotives that I owned in my model railway. This here is the class M9, which was another another beautiful locomotive. Uh, actually uh, got down from uh, France. It is not quite successful in the railway, but you know, it is one of an eye-catching uh, locomotive to have. This was an original locomotive that was purchased of um, another local dealer. Uh, and it was, uh, it's actually a British class uh, 67, which was actually repainted into uh, the Sri Lanka Railways uh, class M9 color scheme. This here is the class M2, uh, which is known to be one of the very best uh, workhorse in the Sri Lanka Railways, which is running for more than 60 years. Fans who know about the trains and all would know that this was actually the locomotive that uh, got caught for the tsunami back in 2004, December 26th. This locomotive was uh, imported from Canada uh, by the Colombo Plan Aid, and up to date, it's still in running condition. So and one of the most uh, likeable uh, locomotives in the railway by most of the fans you know for its uh, unique color and you know once it comes out after being um, serviced and you know painted it's just shiny as uh, it's just shiny as ever right now halif's railway model has four locomotives or engines six freight coaches three passenger coaches, 50 trees, four buildings, a signal tower, and a handful of cars. How it all started was like, uh, this actually came up from my father's idea. So when he was small, he owned the train set. 
and for the past uh, few years I've been developing on and you know I've been making all of this and that's how all of this came here. Halif also started a YouTube channel where he posts videos of trains and locomotives of the Sri Lankan railway. On his Instagram, he posts photographs he takes of aeroplanes. One day, Halif plans to include a model airport in his layout based on another subject he is passionate about. I'm currently studying piloting, so I've been I've completed my O levels and A levels, and now I'm I'm learning to be a pilot. So becoming a pilot actually started uh, off with my father. He was uh, he's actually uh, in the cabin crew as a person. Currently following up my dad's uh, footsteps, uh, maybe, uh, but in a different way as a pilot. During the past few months, uh, especially I should be thankful to the curfews and lockdowns. That's what uh, actually gave me time to do all of this. So what you see here is uh, still being developed and it's not the final thing. So this is just the start, so there is quite a bit more to go and you know, with the time constraints it's uh, really difficult to you know, spend time on this. Uh, so I only have the weekends uh, for me to carry out my work on the layout. Other than that, it's, uh, it's quite enough for me at the moment but you know it's still improving. and. There is quite a lot to do and you know, I hope to bring in uh, more trees, uh, more buildings and you know, make this uh, lively with uh, the addition of street lights and you know, more trains and give it a bit more Sri Lankan touch by adding a bit more Sri Lankan coaches and what not. <laughs>